Hey, Sanford fans, welcome into the Sanford men's basketball season preview. I'm John McAfoos, very happy to be joined by head coach Bucky McMillan. Bucky, I know it's been a, a crazy couple of months for you, but I appreciate you being here. Yeah, glad to be here. Well, finally, we got some basketball around the corner. Let's start, though, with how you constructed this roster. Obviously, you were hired in April when this was all really just starting to unfold. So you couldn't even get into your office, let alone meet with some of these returning players. With a, with a situation like that, how did you go about recruiting and constructing this roster? Well, the first thing, you know, we did, we hired some really good assistant coaches. You know, we got hired a, a week before signing day. I think it was official like two days before signing day. We signed some very good players. Uh, we signed a point guard, Jaron Riley, who, who I think is going to be a, a fan favorite. Uh, he's, he's a future point guard of our program. We signed the, one of the leaders of our team who's got great experience, who will be slated to play the point guard this year, and kind of a point guard in a two guard, and Richardson Matre, who's just a great player, great leader, great person. Uh, we signed A.J. State down in Florida, and A.J. Is, he has a chance to be the freshman of the year in the league. I think A.J. can one day, if he continues to improve, you know, will go on and can play to, at a professional level. We signed Jake, Jacob Tyron, and, you know, he is going to be eligible to play this year. You know, 6'11", and he can shoot the three. He's a very smart player. Uh, just a very good basketball player. Um, we signed Christian Guest, and Christian Guest signed with Missouri out of high school. He's an SEC level athlete, player, uh, and, and when he is locked in, he is as good as we have. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to watching them. And then, then also with that, we got two really good players in Quinn Ritchie and Tristan Chambers. You know, these are two elite shooters, some of the best shooters I've ever seen. To say that, we brought in 12 new guys, and I, I feel very confident our culture is heading the right direction. Talk about some of the guys that return and that you've inherited. You've got Logan Dye, Jalen Dupree. You've got a couple of guys that redshirted last year in Myron Gordon and Preston Parks. But Sanford fans know Myron Gordon well. Two years ago, he started just about every game. And you mentioned Tristan Chambers. He started his career here, transferred, and has now come back. And as you said, a lights-out shooter from deep. That group of returners, what, what do they bring to this team? Yeah. Well, speaking of Tristan Chambers, you know, he is – one of, you know, I've been talking to him, his defense has got to keep improving, but offensively, he is one of the smartest players offensively, um, just knowing how to read situations. Um, and so he provides not just great shooting ability, but ability offensively to help others and say, hey, here's what we're looking for. And he's kind of played in the offensive system for Lenny Acuff, some of the stuff we do in the half court. So he's familiar with it. Uh, Myron Gordon, his talent level is outstanding. You know, I mean, it, when he's going um, and he's fully locked in and he's engaged, his talent on offense is phenomenal. You know, we've been working with Myron on he's got to get, you know, focused on doing every detail correctly. And when he's detailed, you know, he's as good as any guard you're going to see in the league. Preston Parks was the freshman of the, of the year in the SOCON. You know, we had a scrimmage the other day where, where Preston, we played a half of basketball and Preston had 37 points and a half. You know, my, uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's doing it. You know, I mean, Myron on the other team had 30, 30 points. So the way we play fits them really well. You know, the, it's up and down game. They're really good in transition. So uh, they're a perfect fit for the way we like to play. You mentioned Jalen Dupree. Uh, Jalen has been, it's been unfortunate. He's had some injuries and some sickness. So he he's, was in a really good spot. He was in a good, good spot physically. He lost some weight and then he was out for a while. And so when JD gets back, He's going to have to really tone in and get his body in the shape that he wants it to be in. And when he does, you know, he's a real force. You know, he can be, a, you know, as a dominant of a force down low as anybody in the league. And so Logan Dye's come a long way. You know, he's athletic. He can shoot it. Um, he's starting to learn the system, you know. And I think that's been the biggest challenge for him is just learning our system. Um, and it's, it's not easy because we, we play at a fast pace. So for bigs, it's a, it's a little more challenging. But I, I'm looking forward to those pieces. And when another piece we had sitting out who's been outstanding for us is K.J. Davis. K.J. Davis has just been outstanding. He, he's a high-character person. He wants to do right. He's not a complainer. He just does his job. And um, I think he's a great fit for what we're doing. So he's been a joy to coach. And so I, I think overall we're heading in the right direction. We've got a long, long way to go, but we're heading in the right direction. Talk about your style of play. For those that didn't follow your success at Mountain Brook, what is the style of play that you're going to bring to the Sanford basketball program? Well, you know, we, we try to, when we have the personnel, which we do, try to play a lot of guys. You know, I think players, some coaches sometimes may play their players too many minutes, you know, and so they're exhausted and they're, they're pacing themselves. You know, I trust our team. I trust, all, I trust our guys. 
And so we'll play 10, 12 guys, maybe 14 guys, you know, in games. And so we're going to sub a lot. We're going to play really fast. We're going to run on made shots, missed shots. We're going to pressure on made shots, missed shots. We want to get the game up and down. And uh, we want a lot of possessions in the game. And because of that, I think we're, there's going to be a lot of points scored. You know, other teams are going to score more points than they typically would because the number of possessions, even more playing great defense, okay? And we're going to score a lot of points because of the number of possessions. Now, we got to continue to lock in the, in the half-court defense, you know, because it doesn't do us any good if we score 130 and they score 140, you know? But I do think it'll be fan-friendly. You know, if you come to a Sanford game, what you're going to see is it'd be like watching two basketball games. There'll be so much action. And so I think, you know, win, lose, or draw, fans are going to enjoy it. They're going to enjoy how hard we're going to play. I think recruits are going to look at it and say, you know, that, that, that'd be a great way to play. That'd be a great program to be a part of. Talk about the, the coaching staff that you brought in around you. I know you mentioned them a little bit, helping with the recruiting. Obviously, you got Dwayne Rebel, who was your coach when you were at Birmingham Southern and an Alabama Sports Hall of Famer, a legend in college basketball. And you've got a good mix of other guys that have coached at a high level and have some NCAA tournament experience as well. You know, I think it was important that I brought in guys who um, complimented my weaknesses. And one of my weaknesses is I, I have not been out there recruiting. So I had to have people, hey, listen, here needs to be the plan. And, you know, from there, put me in touch with the right people, you know, because that's what it's about. And, the, and the, the guys we hired, and Gerald Gillian, he's phenomenal, knows all of Florida. You know, got brothers and sisters that run all of AU in Florida. Um, and, you know, had a connection. That's why we were able to get A.J. State and we were able to get Richardson. Trey Arnold, you know, he was a, one of the best JUCO coaches in the country in Texas. And then the last year was the interim coach at Iona, Sergio Rocco. Coach at Ole Miss. He's coached the head coach, D1 coach at Florida International, and coach at Reball, like you mentioned, he's in the Hall of Fame. You know, he's won two NAI national championships, two national championships, you know, and, and he's someone I played for. And so uh, we think very similar. And uh, he's been phenomenal to have around. I brought someone with me from, from Mountain Brook High School who'd been in the college game at UAB and been all over at Eastern Michigan. Uh, that name's Dave Good, and he's just been my, one of my right, my right hand guy at high school and he's been great here in college. You know, he, he handles our academics, he handles our player development. Uh, me and him, we schedule every practice. Winning basketball is about having the right personnel, players and staffing. And I, I just feel very privileged that we have the people in this program that we have with the type of people they are and the type of expertise they have. And finally, let's talk about the, the rest of the SOCON. It's really turned into one of the preeminent college basketball mid-major leagues. And, when you look around the league, there's a lot of talent at the top. How do you begin to close that gap between that top tier and Sanford? Yeah, great question. You know, the, the great part is for Sanford fans, it, it's, the SOCON's a phenomenal league. So that means every time you come to a game here in January and February, you're going to see great basketball. Anybody can beat anybody. That's just the reality of it. In our league, you know, it's a top 12 league in the country, you know, and there's a reason. You know, you look at guys, Steph Curry played in the SOCON. You know, we've got teams that go to the Sweet 16 in the SOCON. Teams that are knocking the door of the Elite Eight. And so it's a great league. Um, and, you know, I, I think you asked the question, how, how do you close the gap? You don't close the gap overnight. But having said that, I think that, you know, one thing that makes the SOCON great, they have great coaches in the SOCON. And guys, I think that for the most part, the teams play the game the right way. You know, they pay attention to small details. And I think that one thing we got to make sure we're doing is our guys are locked in on the details that equates to winning basketball, the small details. Because in this league, if you don't do it, you are going to get punished every night. Honing in on those details so that it becomes a habit. And then all of a sudden we have that culture. And that's our culture. It's, a, it's just a culture of great habits. And we're going to build that. I can assure you we're going to build it. It's not going to be built overnight. If it was built overnight, there'd be no such thing as a culture in coaching because that's what makes it what it is. is it's hard to build. You have to do it every day, over and over. And that's why it's not easy to be great. But I can assure you we're going to be doing that and we're going to be building something and we will be great here. We'll be great here in time. Bucky, I really appreciate your time. I know we're all looking forward to the season getting underway. Thanks for having me. Head coach Bucky McMillan, that'll do it for the Sanford men's basketball season preview. Bulldogs will open the season right here at the Pete Hanna Center on November 25th.